Here are seven-ish jackets and coats, whatever you want to call it, that I recommend for the fall and winter season. Quick little disclaimer, I will be including some overshirts as well since some of you guys do live in warmer climates and most of these jackets do have an overshirt version. And with any of these pieces guys, I'm definitely going to recommend that you tag it with the sponsor of today's video, ShopTagger. So I say this in a lot of other videos, ShopTagger really is the best way to do online shopping. I believe it's an essential online shopping tool that I've been using even before they even sponsored me. And especially with the topic of today's video, jackets are pricier. They just use more material to make. And you could save money and frustration by downloading this extension. Here's how it works. Download the extension in the link below, or you can get the mobile app on your phone. Start checking out your favorite stores and start tagging some items. Once you get to your store or item, this blue shop tagger button pops up and you can drag it up and down so you can navigate around the page. You can then click and save the item in your specific size. If it's out of stock and restocks or there's any price change, shop Tagger will email you or send you a push notification for whenever that specific item goes on sale or is back in stock. It's gonna save you a ton of headache. Holiday season is here so this would be a good time to be doing that. That way you can get notified for all those Black Friday deals that are gonna be coming up pretty soon. You can create curated lists based off aesthetics or types of clothing, however you want to organize it. All you have to do is click the link in the description to download the Shop Tagger extension and just enjoy an easier and cheaper shopping experience. Because aside of getting notified on sales of a specific item. At checkout, you can just click one button and it's going to apply a bunch of coupon codes or you can capitalize on that cash back feature that way you can save some more money. Also, I forgot to mention that the coupon code feature is available on your computer, just not on mobile yet. And if you want to save as much money as possible, I definitely recommend downloading both the extension and the mobile app. I definitely do most of my shopping on mobile and then I'll just check on my computer if there are available coupon codes. Shop Tiger was the only reason I was able to pick up these Nike Lab ACG cargos and now they're sold out again. So thank you Shop Tiger for that and thank you shop tagger for sponsoring today's video so the first jacket i have on this list is a work jacket these jackets come in many shapes and design and of course they were originally meant to be worn for manual labor and that benefits your average joe by just being a durable garment with workwear having been in for some time now the target market of these pieces have changed but the craftsmanship has not the bang for the buck of these jackets is insane they're quite affordable for such a thick jacket these also come in a work shirt version which is the same thing just just a lot lighter for those in warmer climates. These ones right here are all from Uniqlo and I like these because of the colors and this one right here is super thick and rigid with a Sherpa lining to keep you warm. Definitely recommend these if you can find them. Some brands I would check out, like I said, is Uniqlo, you got Levi's, you got Carhartt and Dickies, and there are plenty out there on Grailed as well. Next jacket on the list, we have coats and parkas. So these jackets are meant for the really cold days. Coats have been around for over a century. It's a classic, definitely can't go wrong with one that fits your body. But also with today's oversized vibe, you could definitely pick up one of those as well. Don't worry about it being perfectly tailored, you know, where the shoulder points are in the right spots and enough for where your sleeve can pop out, it's not that big of a deal in today's day and age. Just don't go too crazy with the oversized vibe. There are those that are double-breasted, single-breasted, one with belts, it's all totally up to you and your preference. The one that I have is from Uniqlo. It's a lot more relaxed fitting, which I find to be a lot more comfortable. And it has a normal collar, not a lapel. And with this jacket specifically, there's a quilted detachable piece that is initially meant for warmth, but you can unbutton it, that way you can stay a lot cooler. It's a really cool touch. These jackets look great with the normal shirts or to keep it more casual, throw on a hoodie underneath and you're good. Uniqlo, Koss, and Zara are my favorite places to check out. Definitely recommend one of these jackets for a more professional look compared to the parkas that I'm gonna talk about. It's a similar item because it goes past your thighs and there's a little bit extra features to keep you even more warm. So with parkas, they are meant for the cold cold. Typically filled with down feathers, these are mostly waterproof, windproof, and incredibly insulating. And they're synthetic options as well. This one that I have is from Triple Fat Goose, and to be transparent, this was sent over to me for free. But I love this jacket because New York, and the East Coast in general, precipitates a lot, and it gets pretty brick. More popular brands that you guys probably know are Canada Goose and North Face. Just do your due diligence to see which brands are a lot more ethical and which ones aren't. And there's also synthetic options as well, like I said. Next up, we have, oh, I just hit my chin. We have the flannel jacket. So this can mean a few things, but what you wanna look for is a hoodie or can have a Sherpa lining. Just make sure that it is a heavyweight flannel. But alternatively, if you want a cooler version, just get a normal flannel that's super light and it's just like a button up. And you can get the same look as this by just throwing a hoodie underneath it. 
you're good. Flannels are great because as guys, we tend to stay away from patterns and different colors. And these fortunately have both. Now I'm not too big on flannels myself anymore, but that's just a personal preference. This one right here is a flannel hoodie from the Richie Lee collection. Big shout out to Richie and Tan for sending this over. I do recommend getting a normal flannel plus one with a hoodie because this one that comes with the hoodie, you can still wear a different colored t-shirt or a different pattern underneath it versus having a regular flannel with the hoodie. You're stuck to that same colored hoodie. You can't really do anything else with it. That way, this is gonna give you some options. Definitely hit up Costco for some pretty decent flannels actually for the low. Alternatively, the usual Levi's, Dickies, and I'm sure H&M has plenty of them as well. These jackets look great with cargo pants and some Jordan 1s or some Vans, and these are just a great way to practice your color blocking as well. Next jacket up is the fleece jacket. Cozy vibes. Not much to explain about this jacket. It's warm, fuzzy, and your girl might take it from you. Walmart has some stupid cheap options, but you could go to Uniqlo for wind resistant ones, which is where I went. I have this one coming in, which is similar to their collaboration with engineered garments, which would have been a nice pickup if I had the chance to pick it up last year. But with any of these fleece jackets, cream is the go-to, but go crazy with these. That engineered garments one has a bunch of different patches of colors and fleece and nylon. It's really, really cool. That would be one I would definitely keep an eye on or just go for anything that suits you. Our fifth jacket up is most likely something you probably have yourself. If you haven't gotten the hints, that was terrible. It's a denim jacket. Denim jackets are work jackets. Let me clarify that. They've been worn for that purpose since the 1800s when Levi's first created the denim jacket. And also denim jackets and work jackets, they look quite similar because of course, the denim jacket was the original work jacket back then, but it's just that work jackets are a derivative of the denim jacket. They have their own unique designs. But anyways, denim jackets are an easy to throw on item for the fall. They look the best in my opinion with a hoodie as the underlayer piece especially if it's a cream one. The brand does not matter, which is the beauty about denim jackets, work jackets, and even flannels. However, Levi's is where it originated from, or you can check out any clothing store because almost every one of them produces their own. And if you wanna save some money while getting that vintage look, just hit up your dad, your uncle, yo dad, yo uncle, you are trying to get rid of any denim jackets, and I'm sure they probably haven't worn it in decades and they're willing to give it to you. Bam, free denim jacket right there. Or of course, just hit up a vintage thrift shop. Totally up to you. They come in many variations from light wash, black, wax denim, or gray like this one that I have from Express, one of my favorites. And of course, there are denim shirts that way you can just stay cooler. Denim jackets are just like jeans, but for your upper body, so you can do the same thing to them. You can distress it, you can, you can wash it a bunch so you can get a faded color. Endless amount of options. The more you wear it, the more it's gonna be more tailored towards yourself. Moving on, we have the puffer jacket. It's a great way to keep you warm while being easily packable and oh look would you look at that shop tiger told me there is a sale on these at uniqlo which is where i'd recommend picking them up and i don't have a puffer jacket so i might have to capitalize on this i'll leave a link down below where you can pick it up it is 16 percent off as of the recording of this video i do however have a puffer vest so that can definitely be an alternative for you i usually wear this with a hoodie underneath and that's definitely going to be a theme a hoodie thrown underneath a jacket is just chef's kiss. But with puffer jackets, just try and stick to the slim fitting ones if you could, only because it's easier to throw on and you don't really have to think about, oh, do I look like a marshmallow today? So it's less of a barrier, easier to throw on, and more versatile and easy to pack. And this is also a great way to add some technical elements to your fits. Typically, they are windproof and waterproof, and I do find that it is one of the gateway garments to tech wear. So finally, the last jacket we have on this list, technical jackets. So I'm gonna keep it broad and just really quick, basically anything that will fit the tech wear aesthetic. And to break it down, keep it very simple for you guys. Tech wear is where function and aesthetics meet. So that can be in the form of being waterproof and windproof, or it could just mean modularity and breathability. Or if it looks futuristic, it's definitely gonna fit in there. So I'm talking anoraks, windbreakers, parkas, puffers, shell jackets, anything along those lines. Let me list off a few that I have. This jacket is from Rain Delusion. It's kind of a bomber jacket with a high collar, which is what I prefer in jackets nowadays. This is a parker from the North Face that's weatherproof and it's decently warm. This one also has some air vents in the back to keep you a lot cooler. This is a Lululemon snap down overshirt, which isn't weatherproof, but it's incredibly breathable and stretchy. And it also has that futuristic look. So it's great for if you live in a warmer climate. Right here, I have the 511 Tactical Approach Jacket. 
that has a high collar as well. It's weatherproof and in this nice clean olive colorway. And that's just a few that I have. I'm definitely gonna be picking up some more. But some great brands that I love and recommend are On From Leve, Nike ACG, Arcteryx, Gorilla Group, and of course, Acronym. Just be ready to shell out hella money because these are pricey. Or of course, you can tag it on ShopTagger, wait for a sale, Black Friday is coming up because a lot of design and engineering does come with designing these types of jackets. So that is why it's going to be pricey and also why I put it at the end of the list because it is a very niche genre of fashion. But that's why I recommended a puffer jacket because it's a nice gateway into it. But I definitely love these jackets. If you live in an area where it precipitates a lot, these are definitely a recommend. And that is it guys. That is seven definitely a lot more than seven jackets and if you're wondering why bomber jackets leather jackets and plenty of other ones aren't on this list they just didn't make them i made a video last year which they should be on and you guys already have those that's like the the beginner starter jacket that is versatile with pretty much any aesthetic and i'm sure y'all get drilled with picking these items up so anyways go ahead and follow me on instagram at fly with johnny ty download shop tagger and subscribe peace